You ask, we investigate. An effort to solve one problem might be causing another problem. Susie in Brookfield is very concerned about a change in bow hunting laws. Michelle Fiore is live in Brookfield to explain the worry. Michelle? Mike and Carol, looks like we have a couple of visitors tonight. This is what Susie Thompson's been watching. She's paying close attention, too, to a 10-point buck that frequents her yard. She thinks he's been shot, and she's concerned not only for him, but also for the people who live right here. Thompson snapped this photo the morning she believes that buck was hit by an arrow. Her neighbor saw two hunters in this open area behind their homes. And they were walking through her backyard and she said, what are you doing walking through my yard? And they said that they were trying to trail him. When your neighbor told you this, what were you thinking? What's going through your mind? Well, we were shocked. We're thinking there are two kids here, there are four behind, there are two over here, there's one there, three there. Under a new state law, bow and arrow hunting can take place in urban areas. Representative Joel Clayfish thinks it's a good idea in places where deer car collisions are high. Some cities have had to hire sharpshooters to curb the large deer population when it's gotten out of control. Bullets travel miles. Arrows travel yards. Now it's up to cities and towns across the state to regulate where bow hunters can and can't go, something Brookfield hasn't had a chance to do yet. Later this year, the mayor of Brookfield hopes to pass an ordinance. It would require hunters to get permission from a homeowner to be on their property, stay 100 yards away from occupied buildings, and make it illegal to hunt on city-owned properties. Hunters like Jeff Perlowitz say with or without the restrictions, it's a big win for him. But now a person with the price of gas doesn't have to drive far away. They can enjoy the sport close to home. Okay, is that something you're going to partake in? Oh, immensely. Susie Thompson's not sold on the idea. I have family that do deer hunting, but they're doing it on farms, and I don't think deer hunting should be done in the city. And just in case you thought bow hunting season was over, there's actually an extended season in parts of southeast Wisconsin that goes until January the 31st. Live in Brookfield, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. And I'm impressed you got the deer to hang around for your live report there. Are, are they still out there? <laughs> They just walked oh, off okay. a set. Oh, very, very good. <laughs> we scared them off with those lights. Thank you, Michelle. And we want to thank Susie and Brookfield for sending us this story. And a reminder, if you do have anything you want us to investigate, go to TMJ4.com tips. Don't forget, if you ask, we investigate. Well,